Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this op-amp circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the value of this capacitor C such that this voltage Vx is equal to Vy. Now here, the op-amp is the ideal op-amp and we have been given that this Vx is the sinusoidal signal. Now since the op-amp is the ideal op-amp, that means no current is flowing into the op-amp terminals. Moreover, here due to the negative feedback, this V minus will be equal to V plus. That means the voltage at the inverting as well as the non inverting terminal will be equal. That means the voltage at this end will also be equal to Vy. Now let's say this node is equal to node A while this node is equal to node B. So first of all, let us apply the KCL at this node B. So applying the KCL, we can write this voltage Vy divided by 1 kilo ohm that is this current plus Vy minus V out divided by 10 kilo ohm that is this current should be 0. Or we can say that this 10 times Vy plus Vy minus V naught that is equal to 0. That means V out is equal to 11 times Vy. Let's say this is the equation number 1. So similarly, now let us apply the KCL at this node A and let's say this capacitor is equal to Cx. So applying the KCL at this node, we can write this voltage Vy minus Vx divided by 1 kilo ohm that is this current plus Vy divided by 1 over j omega Cx that is the reactance of this 1 nanofaraday capacitor plus this Vy minus V out divided by 1 over j omega c which is the reactance of this capacitor c and the summation of all these currents should be equal to 0. Now here we have been asked to find the value of the c such that this vy should be equal to vx that means this first term should be equal to 0. So if we write the remaining terms then we can write it as j omega cx times vy plus j omega c times this vy minus v naught that is equal to 0. Moreover, we have found that this v out is equal to 11 times vy. So let us put the value of v out in this expression and we can write this j omega cx times vy plus j omega c times this vy minus 11 times vy that is equal to 0. Or we can say that this Cx times Vy minus C times 10 times Vy that is equal to 0. Or we can say that this Cx is equal to 10 times C. Now the value of Cx is equal to 1 nanofaraday. That means C is equal to 1 nanofaraday divided by 10. That is equal to 0 0.1 nanofaraday. Or we can say that it is equal to 100 picofaraday. That means to get the value of Vx is equal to Vy, the value of C should be equal to 0 0.1 nanofaraday. And hence, for the given question, the value of C is equal to 0 0.1 nanofaraday.